We're visiting seven Division I wrestling teams in seven days. Why are we doing that, JD? To get really sick content and raise a lot of money for families affected by the fires in Maui. If you missed our announcement video, which if you, if you did, I hate you. That's not true. Yes, it is. The added layer on top of this is that we're not staying in hotels at all. In each new place we're visiting, we are contacting local wrestling club coaches to try and stay on their mats. Every time we get a club coach to let us stay on their mat, the money that we would normally spend on hotel or other accommodations will instead go to those wrestlers that we're raising money for that are affected by the fires in Maui. Hi, Rocky. My name's Tyler. I'm here with JD Raider. We both work for Flow Wrestling. We're doing a road trip and we're not sleeping in hotels during it. We're trying to contact local clubs and ask them if they'll let us sleep on their wrestling mats. It's day one today, Sunday, August 27th, and JD, tell them what school we're at. 2022 Big Ten Champions, University of Michigan, baby. If you don't know, that's where Tyler went to school. Our first stop is Bana. That's the name of the building where the wrestling room is. We're going to talk to Willowan, Kamameen, and Shane Griffith. I got here at Bana early. JD told me he's meeting me here with a special guest. There he is. <laughs> How? How did this happen? Look who picked me up after you abandoned me. You forget your case, obviously, because you're you. So I, I gotta go pick up the slack, okay, while you set up this interview. And I'm walking back in, and what do you know? My Uber driver is right there. She picks me up. <laughs> JD, you ever seen the inside of the Michigan wrestling room before? I've never seen uh, the inside. I'm pumped. Let's go check it out. <laughs> JD, I don't know if you know this, but I wrestled at Michigan. Yeah, you let me know a time or two. <laughs> they got my twin. It's the mannequin right here. <laughs> I see you, Michigan. Beautiful? Beautiful. I like the windows. All my, I've never gone to a school or competed at a school with uh, windows in the wrestling room. I've always been a dungeon boy, so <laughs> I'm very envious of this. This is nice. Thanks, dude. I would train here. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess I caught him pretty well. <laughs> and uh, I just feel someone jump me and boom, rear naked choke. <laughs> I don't, I, no, I, I, I don't love goalie. There I, was a, a long time where Will was like, I'm the best goalie. And I was like, no, you're not. He like made it his goal that year to prove that he was the best goalie. And he, he might've done it. Sean would be mad at me saying that. Right? You're just texting with Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Like literally like an NFL MVP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, owe a, I owe him a phone call soon. It's been a while. <laughs> After that, we're visiting the Wolf Cats. I think that's what they called themselves. Wolf Cats. The Wolf Cats. <laughs> Lucas Davison, Mike D'Agostino, Chris Cannon transferred to Michigan this year. They also live together, so that's an interesting dynamic. We're going to stuff them in our van. Yes, probably not how I would have worded it, but yes, that is what we will be doing. Then there is a giant team barbecue where almost the entire team will be at. So we're gonna go hang out with them, eat some dogs, eat some burgers. I'm gonna be honest with you, we already hung out with them. We're filming this at the end of the day. <laughs> we did something crazy with them. What did we do? We did eat a hot dog as fast as we could and then ran 100 meters as fast as we could. It all started, Dylan Ragson came up to us. He asked us who would win in a eating hot dog 100 mile, 100 meter race. Not Joy 100 mile. Not 100 miles. Joey Chestnut or Hussein Bolt. I said Joey Chestnut because he eats hot dogs fast as hell. What'd you say? I said Joey Chestnut because he is literally the greatest athlete of all time. JD did say those exact words. And then they started pitting us against each other. They wanted to see which of us would beat each other in a hot dog eating 100 meter dash. So stay tuned to the end of the video if you want to see who won. Tyler's really good at video editing, so I wouldn't trust anything you see. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to check the link in our description. Go donate to the wrestlers who were affected by the fires in Maui. That's what this whole thing's about. Check it out. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so we're about to interview the Northwestern boys, but we think it would be really fun. There's three of them. We got three seats in the back of our van. We think it'd be fun to put them back there for our interview. We're gonna put the camera on this tripod right here. They're gonna be nice and snug. <laughs> Who's right gonna there. go in the middle? I think we gotta put Davidson in the middle, right? <laughs> I, think we got got, to. I think we gotta do it. The and the 33 on, on the sides of him. They don't know that we're gonna ask them to do this. Do you think they'll be comfortable with it? Do you think they're gonna think it's funny? They're boys, they're, they're gonna get it. <laughs> okay. Oh, what's, what's up? On? How you guys doing? Can we come Good. take a look inside? Oh, yeah. So how'd you guys all end up living together? He committed first, yeah. and then we told him if we committed, we'd have to live together. <laughs> did you want that or no? no uh, yeah, it was the best thing I did. <laughs> he no, said he didn't? No, he didn't. Why not? He said Mike's messy. Now, <laughs> we're actually, if you guys don't mind, we're going to do the interview in the van that we're driving around in. We got a, it's like a big back seat. We'll put him in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> I said, we thought it'd be funny yeah. to put Lucas in the middle and then you guys on either side. We'll just interview all of you at the same time in the back of our van. Okay. <laughs> PS4, who's the gamer? 
Uh, me and <laughs> me and Chris are gamers. Mike <laughs> Mike is retired. <laughs> who's uh who's who collects the cards? I do like a lot of sports card stuff on the side, so. I like, I started doing it when I was like really little. Like, really? Like yeah. for money or? Uh, just at first it was just like, just for fun, like a little kid, when I was a little kid. And then during COVID it got like really big and I had like a pretty good collection. So then that's when I just started kind of doing it also for like a hobby, but also a little bit of money too. So I'll like, I'll do like shows and stuff and, and like set up. And that's sweet. Who cooks the most? Luke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you probably eat the most too, I imagine. Stay fueled up. <laughs> Try to put any weight on? Yeah, I'm trying. Uh, this summer, I've been traveling a little bit, so it's it's hard when you're on the road to kind of keep the calories coming in. But um, when I'm here, my weight is always going up. This guy's trying to gain weight. What about you guys? How's your weight? Sore subject or what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm cool as a cucumber. I'm good. Who's throwing star? <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> you practice? Me, my old roommate at Northwestern, he used to just practice on like the wall. Dude, he's like, it's worth the security deposit. <laughs> <laughs> and so I brought it. Security he, he, it's actually funny. He moved out last year. The last thing he had in the wall at our place was that throwing star. <laughs> in the wall. It was the last thing I took out of my apartment because I kept it with me. All right, cool guys. Well, are you guys down to go get in our van? <laughs> <laughs> When I entered the portal, it was a lot. Like, amount of calls you get in the two day period, it's hard to keep up. It was overwhelming as hell. Like, I told these guys, I was like, dude, you want to, th I wanted to throw my phone in, in the lake. I think I got put in the transfer portal on like a Tuesday afternoon or something like that. And then, you know, my phone just blew up like an hour after that. And I think we, we all experienced that same thing. Just your phone goes crazy. And it was kind of like one of those things where, just gotta chuck it away for a little bit and like kind of get back to it later. I was actually in class and I was like, my phone just would not stop vib vibrating. I was like, oh my gosh. All right, so we're at Will Cam and Shane's house right now. They're letting us use their Wi-Fi, which is super nice of them. Obviously we have like connections with college athletes. I'm sure there's plenty of people that would like to put us up or that would be willing to put us up, not that would like to. But we want to use this opportunity on this trip to reach out to clubs, kind of maybe connect with some more people in the community that we wouldn't normally connect with. Um, so Miles Amin, he gave me the phone number to a guy who runs a local club. It's called Dark Horse Wrestling club he has no idea that i'm calling him he has no idea that i'm gonna ask to spend the night in his club tonight we're literally just gonna cold call him i haven't even texted him he might think that we're insane he might think that we're trying to scam him hopefully he doesn't but good start this is a wild call we have to remember what's at stake here if he does let us sleep on his wrestling mat tonight then that's 300 more dollars that'll go to, to kids in maui that have been affected by these crazy fires so that's gonna be kind of the pitch you put us up it'll help these kids if you don't you're a terrible person so no i'm just kidding it's a hard thing to pitch on a voicemail, but hopefully we can make it happen. Hi Rocky, my name's Tyler. I'm here with JD Raider. We both work for Flow Wrestling. We're doing a road trip and we're not sleeping in hotels during it. We're trying to contact local clubs and ask them if they'll let us sleep on their wrestling mats. And the money that we would save that we would normally spend on a hotel, we're donating it to charity uh, to help kids that have been affected by the fires in Maui. So give me a call back, and if not, thank you for your time. We'll, we'll turn the camera back on if he gets back to us. I'm getting a call right now. I think it's him. Hey, Tyler, Ricky Bell's all over Dark Horse. How you doing, Rocky? Good. I just listened to your voicemail. I, I started laughing. That's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a typical wrestler uh, idea, and I, and I love it. I'd love to be able to help you guys out. You, you love it, really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sweet, man. All right, see you later. Bye. Yes! <laughs> we got a place to sit. Day one, we got a place to sleep. Let's go! We are going to the Team BBQ. Pretty much the whole team's gonna be there. They're cooking out, doing some cool stuff, so it's gonna be a good time. I just love the feel of a college town. Just people walking around, being happy, walking everywhere. It's good energy. Oh, we can't park there. There. This is what sucks about a coach. <laughs> is the parking. What we got going on here? Yeah. Got the rest of the burgers. Yeah. Kind of smoking up a little bit. I feel like I'm kind of made to be here though, on the grill. It's just my oh. roll. How was golf? I won. You won? No. <laughs> I had to leave early. Ray Bob's cooking. One to ten. How do you do? Ma Master Grill Chef Bob. <laughs> Probably like a nine. Nine? Pretty good. It was good? I think Bob's a good chef, yeah. So uh, that's the one thing I'll give Bob credit for. So what's going on here? What's, what, why'd you guys do a barbecue today? 
I think it was just a good reason to get the team together and hang out, you know, as school starts. Plus, we have our team impact kid here. His family's here, so. We got Dylan Rags and he wants to be behind the camera real quick. Tyler, Radar Michigan Barbecue. I give it a 10 out of 10. Vibes here are immaculate. As a Michigan alumni, I'm, I'm never going to rate anything Michigan less than a 10. I'm not going to lie to you. The original plan was actually not to start at Michigan. It started at a different school. I won't tell you which one. But then I was like, hey, what if we started at Michigan? Kind of as a joke. And then they were like, actually, yeah, that's a good idea. So next is a Then it's a Then a Then 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 Yeah. Will, give me a Merp for the camera. Merp. <laughs> Cam, you got a fresh cut. Look at you. We got the big boys over here. They're having a uh, who can eat the most hamburgers off. Who's winning? All right, we got a we got a little Michigan question for the flow guys. Okay. You have to eat a hot dog as fast as you can and then run 100 meters. Joey Chestnut or Usain Bolt? I think I saw someone do the math once and they said it was Joey Chestnut, right? Who do you Joey think would Chestnut, win? greatest athlete of all time, probably, debatably. I'm going Chestnut. I go Chestnut too. I Everyone just says Usain well. Bolt is dumb. Well, Mike did it. I did it. Mike has the team record of 27 seconds. 27.3. If you guys want to compete, we can set it up. You guys got hot dogs? Actually, I'll do it. I'll, I'll race JD. I'll race JD. Yeah. Set it up then. Don't say we didn't give you guys content. <laughs> oh, if you had to put money on who you think would win between me and JD, who would you say? Not gonna lie, the mustache <laughs> is giving me a lot of confidence. So who do you think is gonna win? JD. Why'd you say that He's so fast? Foot, That's go. crazy. You guys know I used to wrestle in Michigan, right? Yep. You're gonna yeah, bet I'm against me? Yep. Reason, That's wild. <laughs> Who do you guys think is gonna win between me and JD? JD. Why is I everyone... got Tyler. Thank I you, got dude. Tyler. That's my Thank boy. You. Thank you. <laughs> dude, that's crazy. You, you better lace them up. You better lace them boys up. I can see room in there. Shoes are coming off. You gotta make sure all things are even. You grab the hot dog, dunk it in the water. If you choose to, probably the best strategy. Dunk it in the water and then you gotta see how fast you can eat the hot dog. And then there'll be someone next to you, and then you show them your mouth, and then they'll clear you to run, and then you sprint 100 meters. <laughs> and after you're done running the 100 meters is when the time stops. <laughs> I didn't know how hard it would be to eat the dog that fast. How's your performance? Dude, after that, that makes me so confident that Joey Chestnut would own Hussein Bolt. The record was 27 seconds, I got like 39. No, I'm not happy with my performance, but this is only a minor setback for a major comeback. I'm gonna get my training up, get my sets up, I'm gonna come back. You haven't seen the last of me on the hot dog track. I'm struggling a little bit more right now. That's crazy. <laughs> That's absolutely insane. Next time, next time we're doing a 400 and four hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Michigan Wrestling. I love you guys. Thank you all for the hot dogs. You guys again soon. Yeah, we're going to do this for the next two hours. <laughs> Rocky Palazzolo, Dark Horse Wrestling. And what are you doing for us today? You guys are going to stay on the mats tonight? You guys might get woke up by Jazzercise Ooh, in the morning. <laughs> well, it is 5.52 in the morning. Jazzercise is already running the class next door. We can hear them. There's some grinders. <laughs> Or if you want to go a workout in. You guys have showers? Uh, there's one. Dude, we yeah, have, but we nobody uses the best. We might not get to shower at all on this whole trip, so that is It's clean. It's amazing. nice. So still got a few more things to do, but this is our space. Man. Um, shout out Clip Keen helps us out, sponsors us, helps, uh, you know, with local wrestling. But TV, couches you guys can crash on, they're pretty comfy. You're living in luxury. Yeah, living in luxury tonight. Awesome, man. You'll have, Thank you so much. You'll have cable. You have internet. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. I'm glad it can help, and it's, I think it's pretty cool. You guys are doing this. You want to tell yeah. us a little about how long has the club been around? So we're just about um, one year in. Our numbers have basically quadrupled. We started last summer. We had about four kids that were consistently coming. Um, we have this summer about 35, 40. The area is not known for wrestling, so we're trying to put it back on on the map and. Create a little hotbed down here. All right, we're here in Dark Horse Wrestling Club. We're about to go to sleep. JD's already snuggled up on the couch. Today was a long day. It was a fun day. We have a long trip ahead of us. It's uh, it's 1 a.m. right now. I still have not finished the video that you are watching right now, so hopefully I do that in the next few hours. <laughs> but it's all worth it because we're doing it for a really valuable cause. Shout out Dark Horse for these comfy couches. Again, Dark Horse letting us use their room like this means $300 towards uh, the wrestlers that were affected by fires in Maui. So that's awesome. Hopefully we can continue to get clubs to help us out like this and eventually hit that $2,000 mark at the end of the week. We also did want to shout out anyone who donates $100 or more to the kids in Maui while we're doing this. So for day one, we got a Utah wrestling coach donating $100. Wrestlers are the most resilient athletes I know. You'll be at it stronger than ever. Then we got a proud member of the wrestling community. 
Our thoughts are with you. Thank you, proud member of the wrestling community. Yeah, so anyone who donates $100 or more will get their donation read in the videos. Uh, if you donate $500 or more, we'll give you a whole segment. We'll, re we'll do like 20 seconds. Uh, <laughs> thank you to everyone else who donated, and uh, if you haven't donated yet, check the link down below.